Intercept the convoy. Watch out for cable. Hit it! Don't call it a comeback! How would you describe Deadpool 2 in one sentence? Cattywampus, bumfuzzle, argle bargle. Not really a sentence. Uh, Deadpool 2 is like the Canadian version of Couples Retreat with slightly less small and Ackerman. It's kind of a movie full of anti-heroes. Does that give you more leeway to create that heart-driven story and that warmth that comes with that? Because you can kind of let them mess up. That's part of what makes the anti-hero great, is that they are flawed. They have a different way of getting the right thing done, and it's sort of probably morally flexible and quite ethically questionable, but their hearts are in the right place, so to speak. Let's meet in the middle and say no, it isn't. If Cable and Deadpool were to go to dinner and a movie together, what kind of meal would you share together? We would be in Positano, Italy, looking yeah. longingly into each other's eyes and say, let's do four more of these movies. I think it's always really great to be able to play someone who is morally malleable because you can really go into the nuance and you're not only focused on like what is the good thing or what is the bad thing. One of the things I really love about this movie is there's a lot of heart in it. And both of your characters get to experience that, especially your character. What was that like for you? Oh yeah, because um, Russell Pfeiffer's He's very alone in this movie. It was really hard for me to be able to embody this character. And he's a drama queen, man. He's an absolute drama queen in this movie. We actually partnered with Fox to create these exclusive oh, cool. Deadpool glasses. So we wanted to give one to you wow. today. This is cool. Oh, we thank you. Here today. That's amazing. Yeah. Cheers, thank mate. Thank you, guys. <laughs> who should not come see this movie? People who don't like to waste time. And Christian Ronaldo. That guy.